Welcome to Lecture 2, Taste and How Science Works. And our first topic is going to be about taste and tongue maps. And as you can see, I've already crossed it out and I've written wrong and I'll put a couple exclamation points after it because this is a common misunderstanding and it is not true. But perhaps, uh, I, well, and let me just personalize it here. So uh, when I learned about taste, this is what I learned about, that there is a taste map and I will swear to you that I thought I could taste these patches as well, which is another interesting thing about misguided science is uh, the role that if you believe it's true, then it is true, uh, you know, to you, which gets to the question of what truth is too, but, um, and the power of the human brain to uh, think things that are not there. Anyway, there's a lot, lot going on here, a lot to unpack. But the, what we're going to focus on unpacking here is uh, why this happened. And so, uh, so one, uh, why this happened. Because uh, this has been, tongue maps have been used for uh, uh, at least 50, if getting closer to 100 years, and they were never proposed as the model of how to do it. Um, why this happened, so um, how good science gets misinterpreted, and, um, and uh, how we're going to do science that will address and make sure that um, this, as much as possible, doesn't happen. And the short answer is that you have to use units. And uh, I need to get myself a bumper sticker that says this, uh, I heart units. Because we're going to be dealing with some graphs that don't have units. And then we're going to talk about what we need to do and how units work. And we're going to put some uh, units on and talk about what some units are, uh, at least for this uh, lecture, lecture uh, outline, too. All right. Now, again, uh, that tongue map is still being used. It's been used for over 50 years. It's still being used. And if you click on this, it'll take you to a video that does use it. And then here's an at-home uh, experiment from, on the Scholastic store that also talks about tongue maps. And again, these are both wrong, but I'm just attempting to show you uh, how ubiquitous this is. And in fact, I had intended on teaching this to you until I did my own research. And maybe that's the other lesson is do your own research. Uh, although it's hard to do your own research on everything, isn't it? All right, so how did this happen? There was a paper published by D.P. Honig in 1901, is published in German, and he made a graph like this. And uh, it's not exactly usually easy to interpret German, but I looked up and we have Google Translate now, so it's a, a lot easier. Um, so let me interpret this for you. So Seuss is sweet, bitter, and sour is how you pronounce that, and that is actually sour there. And again, this is from uh, the uh, reference here, and I'll be referencing my materials as much as possible. Also a good practice, figure five. And um, basis means uh, base of tongue. And the base of your tongue ah, is way in the back. So you can also call it the back. Uh, link or rand is left side. Spitz is tip, and right side. So we're what we're looking at here, and we've got three different symbols, and let's just focus on how about the sweet part here. So the sweet part is going to be the uh, little tiny squares, it looks like, here. And so I'm actually just going to go along and in green, color in the line. 
and you can do it in any color you want, but okay. So the green line is sweet. And what this graph appears to be saying is that the tip of the tongue is, uh, and it does say this, is the most sensitive to sweetness. So tip of tongue is most sensitive to sweetness. That's true. And depending upon how you interpret this graph, it looks like the edge, depending upon, so there's, there's no units on this. And, you know, in some ways it's understandable because how do you quantify sweetness? But this graph could go from zero to 100%, or it could go from zero to, sorry, it could go from 90 to 100%. So there's no units over here. And that's the origin of the problem. So uh, what we're going to do is, um, it was, well, let's say this. And, and again, the science is all right. It was just misinterpreted. Um, so the tip of the tongue is most sensitive to sweetness. That's true. But it turns out that the difference here was more like this is the most sensitive and this is the least sensitive, but this is still got a lot of taste buds. And so even on the back of the tongue, the tongue is sensitive for sweetness. So I don't know, uh, let's put this as, uh, let's call this 100%. And we'll put some squiggly equal signs there, which means approximately uh, and let's say if this is the most sensitive, and uh, somewhere down here is the least sensitive, it turns out that this might be better put at 80%. And so even if this is not zero, but people interpreted it as zero such that they came up with the tongue map. And they said, ah, yes, you can taste sweet here, but you cannot taste sweet in the back here. And that's just not true. There are small differences. Um, anyway, but we'll, we'll see with some actual uh, tests later on that the differences are much smaller. So if we call this most sensitive 100%, this might be closer to 70 or 80%. And again, there are no units here. And so it's hard to tell exactly what's going on. Uh, according to this, uh, the little triangles are sour. Sour is going to be most on the sides. And so you can see sour most on the sides. We didn't do salty here. And then we've got bitter, which is most on the back um, or the base of the tongue. And so I can see where this came from especially when, so the original paper was translated from German into English in another paper by Edwin Boring, and I need to get a, a citation for this as well, where again, sweet on the tip. So this was the English translation. And I wanna say this was in the 30s or 40s, but again, I'll have to check that for sure. And then the ninth, so, so um, anyway, so sensitivity here, still no units. And that's still where the problem is because people just saw this and they started drawing the tongue maps. And this sensitivity might still be 80% sensitive. So there are small differences. in the ability of the tongue to taste. There are small differences in sensitivity. But tongue maps are simply not true. It's a, so there's not one area that is only for one taste or each taste.